Hi everyone, welcome to the clock shop. Uh, this is Jim with JR Clocker on eBay, and I'm gonna go over uh, little tips. Uh, my tip today is for adjusting the hammers. Um, so the, the strike sounds better. Sometimes they come down, they're too far away from the bar. Sometimes they rest against the bar and different things that you can do. For one, if you have a movement similar to this, it has two bars here, and uh, this this on this side is your strike side, this side is the individual's Westminster chime. Uh, you can, if it's having a problem too close or too far away from here, you can adjust all four at the same time by loosening the screw and adjusting, taking it back up. Back up. Um, but really, I want to show you some things about uh, these movements. You know, they're just brass wire. Let me get a little closer. They're just brass wire. And so if this one's too close, you can just bend it back. Um, usually when you get one in good sound, then you just kind of line the rest of them up and you'll get this. If it's too far away, you just, you know, they bend. You, you can, on this type of clock, you can do it with your fingers. Uh, some of the clocks you have to do it uh, with a needle nose plier. <clears throat> this is a pretty common mantle clock movement. It's a uh, 340 020. And oftentimes, if you, take, if you have to take the spring out and you're putting it back in, you've kind of push these, spread these apart to get it out. Well, when you get to make sure you have that, this is a silencer. Right there, this little bar here. Let me turn it around this way. This little bar here is a silencer. So this is the way you're gonna be seeing it in the movement. <clears throat> you can, if you can get in there with your fingers and do it, you know, just move them around. And if you can't, you just slip in here and do it you know, bend it. C's, well, you know, you just make little C's, basically. And uh, I'll show you again this way. Okay, so, you know, you can make it like this. And they can bend back. Um, one little trick sometimes though, when you're putting like one of these cases, uh, one of these movements in a case. Uh, this may be coming up and rubbing against this plate. Uh, this is more common in a, a movement like this with the side strike. Um, it just wants, it, it, it rubs against something. So just, you can also go and, and turn these out I just did with that one, or turn them in. But, uh, and you know, but anytime you get a brand new movement, you're gonna have to uh, eventually, uh, you're gonna have to tune um, the chime bars, or tune the chime hammers. We don't tune, we don't tune chime bars that are already tuned. Uh, so, as said, you just here I got this one running, and if this one had been hit resting on the chime bars, then I would move them all back, and uh, so they wouldn't rest on the chime bars. Um, also, on this one here, this little post on the strike—that's what you just saw it doing—pulls them all back for the strike. Now. You got a, uh, and it's connected to the last one. These are all individuals. If I don't touch the last one, I'm gonna bend that out a little bit. So I, okay, so I'll show you. And uh, <clears throat> so this one is, this one here is setting back a little bit. Okay, so your first uh, rule is, is that if this one's not hitting, then that's the problem. You just turn it in a little bit. Now they're more, more in line. 
Uh, that should have the rest of them in line, or it should have them all resting against it. But you know what I'm trying to say is uh, just trying to, to keep um, everything lined up and then work from there as far as tuning goes. Um, anyway, it's, it's pretty simple once you understand that, yes, you can bend the bars. Uh, you're not going to mess up the clock. Uh, the, the hammers are not supposed to rest on the bar. They're not supposed to bounce on the bar. Um, they're supposed to hit and move just a little bit away. Um, they don't have to be far away because, uh, um, let me see if I can get this to, oh, see this one's caught. It's a perfect example. It gets, it's getting caught on the lip right here. Let me see. It's getting caught on that lip. So all I would do is move this a little bit further away from it so it doesn't get caught. Then I want to make sure that it's not hurting anything else or stopping anything else from running. So we're going to, there's two places on this movement where you can really see how things are going. That's at the first quarter, all right, which is right here. When it goes one, two, see how I'm not, see how that one, this one picked up this one too. So you have to. And then the three-quarter hour, which we're going to go through the half hour right now. This is probably not wound up. <laughs> but anyway, let's make sure that I'm not hitting this one. There we go. All right, so now we're going to do the three-quarter hour. Anyway, I hope that helps you out, give you a little better idea. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for other videos that you'd like to see me do, just put it in the comments. Um, otherwise, uh, if I this is for the week before Christmas, so y'all have a good holiday. And uh, if I don't see you between now and the end of the year, I'll see you next year. Thanks for stopping by. And we'll see you next time.